Good morning, it's day four and today we are in Roatad, Honduras, Mahogany Bay and um, we just got up about to go have some breakfast and then we're gonna go ashore and show you this beautiful beautiful island it's one of our favorite destinations every time we come here we have such a great time the beach is so close it's free it's beautiful the water's clear the nature is gorgeous and it's one of our favorite stops so we can't wait to share it with you what did you have grits yeah. Yeah. Grits. Mm. got some eggs um, it's the same stuff every day but yesterday they had salmon benedict today it's sam benedict so we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go grab our stuff from the room and head ashore all right we made oh look jubilee is here is it jubilee's here all right look we got and i was wondering why we parked so deep in apparently they can hold two ships over here which i never realized i thought it was just one. Oh, it's gonna be busy right Kind of busy. Oh, that way. That way. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, we're not going the right way. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I know, we always park over there. <laughs> you want to take a picture? No, thank you. <laughs> we're, I'm like, we always park there closer to the island. And today, we're in another parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this place so much. Oh my gosh. And this is a way shorter walk too, because remember yeah. before, look, let me show you. Like before, on the Jubilee, we park all the way back there, and the walk from the ship to this duty-free area is a lot, a lot further. So this is actually really close. Okay. All right, we are in a duty-free store. It smells ever so lovely. It is hot here today, isn't it? Yeah. It is humid. Don't think it's bad. It's worse. Last time was a lot worse. A lot, a lot, a lot hotter. But yeah, uh, it's hot. So this area of the walkway, it has this beautiful vegetation and has some giant palm trees. Look, look how big this thing is. It's huge. Beautiful. You can also get a lift ride. It's not expensive. We did it one time, but the time that we did it, it was years ago. It was um, very windy and rainy and it was shaking and moving and I was terrified the whole time. And they would stop it. And they would stop it, yeah. And you're just hanging over the ocean with nothing holding you. It was so scary. So now we're gonna go. We, we took a little detour of the main road and you could still, you still get to the beach this way. It's just really shady and pretty. So this is really nice, it's a little, um, like a little hiking. <laughs> oh, look, that's the Jubilee. 
And we love that ship. We've been on that twice. It's really wonderful. All right, and now we almost made it. So I'm gonna cross over that little bridge and we'll be right there by the entrance to the beach. Huh? Over the bridge. Uh, maybe. <laughs> And here you got all the water sports, you can run stuff. You can rent stuff and also there's another shack over here that you can rent life jackets and floats for the beach. And whenever we come with our children, a little one, before she learned how to swim, we used to get her a life jacket here. Now she's a really good swimmer because we go to swimming lessons. <laughs> And uh, so we don't have to do that anymore. But if you need one, you need to walk right through this building. You're the one that right here. And here you have some shops, which are pretty expensive, as far as we remember, right? Everything on these ones is a lot, a lot, but nothing affordable. And you got your restrooms right there. Right here on your left is where you run to beach stuff. Right here. Huh? You have to leave the sail and sign yes, you, you have to you have to leave your sail and sign card. Uh, they hold it hostage while you have their equipment, and then when you return it, you get it back. So keep that in mind as well. So you got a restaurant and the whole uh, way over here yeah. and we usually go all the way in the back and find chairs back there and uh, we always found some but we've never been here when there were two ships so that's a lot more people than normal so hopefully we'll find something we shall see we found uh, Really great chairs. Oh no, where are you going? Right here. Right across from the water. Same mom. I don't either. That's really nice. All right, we are here. There's the beach. And there is Adam. So I got this uh, fanny pack, it's waterproof. You put all your stuff in there. So I got my phone, like my cheap passport, and uh, what's it called? You know, like the wallet and everything in there. And it has air in there, so it also works as a flotation device. Yeah, I think it's supposed to float. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's supposed to float. We got them on Amazon, and they're waterproof. So we take all the goodies with us, make sure nothing gets lost, misplaced, taken. <laughs> so it's really, really neat. And it works, I tested it in the sink for like an hour before and um, yeah, no water gets inside. So that's really, really cool. I recommend it. Yeah. So normally when we're here, I like filming underwater and here it's so muddy and I mean, like so sandy and you can't see anything at all. And we wanted to snorkel. We, the first time we actually brought a snorkel with us and we can't even go snorkeling. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try another area and see if we can over there. Can you hold it? Oh, you can? Okay. All right. I'm sure they can't stand here. Did me or is it uh, more water today? More water? Yeah, like deeper. Well, sand might have washed out from people. Maybe. If So before we used to be able to walk through here to get to the other side, now it's private cabanas and they will have the security there, making sure nobody 
walk through that beach because people pay extra for those and a lot of people have been using that beach and hanging out there and uh, I'm going to make sure they're getting what they paid for is more peace and tranquility. So we're going to try and walk around and see if we can get access to that bridge from another side because we want to see if we can snorkel because it'd be a shame to carry the ginormous snorkel with us for the first time and not actually being able to use it. That would be sad. So wish us luck. We'll let you know if we find anything. No. So they actually expanded this area. They gave it a little extra piece here because there's another bar there and there's a lot more lounges here on this side of sea. That's the private area in there and we were on that side of the fence. Let's see what the water looks like here. We found a snorkeling spot. There's people snorkeling everywhere here. What does anything say? I don't know. We might as well go look. It's like you stand up. Yeah. That's nice. Look at those things. Barnacles of some sort. This is a little fish. Look at that. Yeah. Thing. See a little skinny? Yeah, I see. Yeah, let's go. Let's go get a snorkel. This is so exciting. We found ourselves a snorkeling spot. So we're gonna go ahead and snorkel. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so cute. small. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> that was horrible. Well, this is really sad. A snorkel is leaking. I can't stand up. And I can't stand up anywhere. <laughs> Finally, we'll bring a snorkel and everything else goes wrong. But, you know, here, let me show you. There's really a... Uh, Can you hear me? Uh, I'm heading back. Okay, nothing going on there, but it's really beautiful water. I'm really sad. Oh, well. All right, that'll be next time. We'll be back here, I think, in December, maybe. Yeah. What? Ooh. Look at all these fire ramps all over my shoe. Somebody spilled a Pepsi or something there. Take that shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Need to move a bag. <laughs> we find a different spot. Yeah. Shit. Well, I'm glad that whole fire ramps situation got resolved safely without us getting bitten and now uh, we found another area to lay out but we're not going to stay much longer because the water is really like seeing you can't it's not clear so i'm just going to swim a little bit and then we're going to head back to the ship and lay out on the pool Ah, oh, no. Yeah, this place right here, the drinks are really watered down. You're not getting any alcohol in them. We it had was the biggest one they had last time. Yeah. Didn't do anything. We had the biggest one they had. Hurricane. Dollars. Yeah, it was expensive and it was like nothing, like sushi from 7 Eleven. Yeah. So now we're going to go and um, kind of show you around where the shopping center is and also show you where you could get the best chocolates in Honduras. Um, whenever we're here, we get some. You could sample them all out. 
and uh, they are very delicious and pick out which ones you like best or get a whole assortment of stuff they have deals on those as well really really good The dark chocolate ones. Yeah. It's dark, 80% cocoa and no milk. Mm -hmm. And milk chocolate. 44%. <laughs> yeah, they're really, really good. Look at this, they're so elegant. Look at this beautiful elephant. Look how beautiful you are. Oh, that's so precious. Oh. We, made, we made it to the buffet and I got some pretty cakes. And a hummingbird and tiramisu cheese cakes. That looks really yummy. What do we have going on here? Looks like pretty good stuff. <clears throat> yeah? Looks like pretty good stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> some pasta, some chicken masala. Thinking a um, little guana. We'll see. We'll see what we do. Got my fish taco. Now we're right in front of, him, of a movie screen. So I'm going to eat that and watch it. We got the guy burger, chili, chili burger, yum yum. So we had a really good nap and um, now we're going to have dinner and we're going to do it in the buffet again tonight. Um, that way we kind of save some time by not um, having to wait so long since we've slept for so long. So today's buffet day. Again, hopefully it's yummy. I got broccoli and cheddar cheese for soup. Yay! We just saw Brian over here. We met Brian and he's been watching our videos and we feel so special. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yay! This was so awesome. Yeah, it's a nice little motivator. Yeah, it's a great motivator. Thank you guys for watching. And um, we really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. And if you do see us around the ship, please stop by and say hi. Yeah, don't oh be shy. God. Say because hi. Because it makes our day. Like, we're so excited. That makes us so, so happy. Yeah. Literally awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you guys. <laughs> just hung out with a really nice couple from Pensacola in the Alchemy Bar and um, they're just really nice to share experiences with really cool people and love meeting new people. Uh, so right now we're gonna go watch Family Feud and the Pharaoh's Palace. Adam doesn't like Family Feud, I love Family Feud. I have never seen it on the ship because every time we go he doesn't want to go. But finally I talked him into it so hopefully he will be willing to stick around. Because today there's not much else going on. Around here there will be piano bar opened up at 9, it's 9.30 now. Um, 
So hopefully your family feud is good. I enjoyed it. I like the real show and uh, I think I will like this one too. So let's see how that goes. Least life laughs. Is that a life laugh? Looks like it. Where? Uh, this finished family feud. That was fun. Everybody said that this was like the adults only one. And I thought it was alright. Um, Adam sat through it, so that's cool. Uh, but everybody kept on saying how the early one that they had at 7:30 was like better, like way better and even more fun. So, uh, sucks that we missed it. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, thanks for staying with me. Yeah. All right. And now we're gonna go and go to the piano bar. Today is one of those off days where there's nothing going on, no comedians, no production shows other than family food. So we're gonna just listen to music. So we're gonna go to piano bar now. Come here. Good evening, everybody. It's the end of the day four vlog. I can't believe it's been already day four, can you? But good thing. Halfway. Halfway there. We still have four more days left. Tomorrow we're going to be in Belize. Adam's not going to get off because he doesn't want to take the tender boat ashore. I don't mind. They have like the cheapest fake purses. <laughs> and I don't want to look at fake purses. Okay. In Belize, all right. So, my 10 year old is getting all into the brands and stuff. So I'm thinking tomorrow I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get her something there. Um, some kind of fake purse. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Stop it. And they are, they're really cheap there. So I'll show you what I get if I get anything. And so tomorrow that's the plan for me. Today we have had a really good day. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, Raw 10 was fun. Tibetan mask was leaking. Uh, for me, it wasn't comfortable. And so I couldn't really do much. It was my first time snorkeling too. So uh, maybe that's why I wasn't so comfortable. But either way, um, it was fun. The ship was fun. We got to meet somebody who recognized that. That was awesome. That's cool. Brian and Joy, thank you so much for watching. And um, we hung out and talked to a lot of people all over the ship. They're really chatty people over here. It's so great getting to know new people and really, really interesting stories. Um, <sighs> we just had best talk to really interesting, fun people. We saw what was the show? We saw Family, uh, something. family Feud. Family Feud. Yeah, which Adam doesn't like, but he sat through it with me, and I love Family Feud. Um, so that was fun. And um, yeah. Bar. The piano bar was interesting, and as you saw from the piano bar, there weren't many people there. <laughs> Usually, it's packed every time. Like on all the other ships, every single place is packed. Um, not here, nothing's packed. But the piano bar has its own drink menu, which is completely yeah. different. If you want different drinks, they have a bunch of different ones. The piano bar has its own drink menu. The sports bar uh, has its own so. drink menu. Uh, Serenity has its own drink menu. Alchemy. Alchemy has its own menu. Red Frog, both of them have their own menu. Blue Iguana, a bar. Tequila bar has its own menu. Serenity has its own menu. I don't know if I said it. Um, but yeah, like most bars have their own menu and it's awesome. Yeah. It's great. Punch liner. You know. Um, so yeah. The buffet, the late night buffet, we went and looked at it. It was okay looking, but we weren't hungry. Yeah, we just went to look, uh, but the line was over there, like really tight, so I couldn't film any for you, unfortunately. But yeah, it's been a great day, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow's um, Belize vlog, and then we have Costa Maya and Cozumel, which we're not gonna get off the ship for. We're gonna stay on ship, um, most likely. 
I'm yawning. I'm so sleepy. Yeah, so we're sleepy. I haven't had enough naps today. <laughs> yeah, we're sl we napped today. Like three hours extensively. Nap. Yeah. So um, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Um, if that's your first time here, please consider subscribing. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Happy cruising. <laughs>